Here at L2, we predicted Netflix would be the next horseman. Consumers who stream TV shows are increasing across age groups, especially among people in their 50s. More Americans subscribe to Netflix than cable television. Yes, more people, Netflix than cable TV. But Netflix is getting competition. Disney's $66 billion acquisition of 21st Century Fox could make the mouse a viable competitor to Netflix and Amazon. Disney is the only old economy firm with the scale, stones, access to capital, and leadership to develop a prime-like offering. Proof of its growing status in big tech, Sandberg and Dorsey announced this month they would not continue to be on Disney's board, citing conflicts of interest. Disney has a lot of content. Of the last 100 movies released, Fox and Disney account for almost half of box office gross. Disney announced last year it would stop streaming movies on Netflix in 2019 when it plans to launch its own streaming service. Post Fox acquisition, Disney will own 60% of Hulu and starts with nine years of experience with streaming platforms. Netflix is responding. The company plans to release 80 original films this year, a lot of movies even in the context of the big studio's 2016's numbers. See a war coming? It's going to be Amazon versus Netflix versus Disney. Who's losing the streaming wars? Movie theaters, where U.S. attendance fell to a 20-year low in 17. MoviePass looked at this bleak situation and smelled opportunity. Founded in 2011, the subscription service took off last August when CEO Mitch Lowe, a former Netflix and Redbox exec, slashed the price of unlimited movies from $30 a month to $9.95. The result? Subscribers surged from 20,000 to 1.5 million. Three quarters of subscribers are millennials. The company claims that subscribers spent 123% more on concessions. The value proposition to studios here, however, isn't popcorn revenue, it's data. MoviePass cut the price after selling a majority stake to data analytics firm Helios and Matheson, which plans to collect subscribers' viewing behavior and use the data to target ads to app users. As the firm's CEO, Ted Farnsworth, put it, it's no different than Facebook or Google. The more we understand our fans, the more we can target them. I was planning to start a movie pass company, but instead I'm starting a boy band called Stable Genius. I'll be the sullen yet withdrawn one. I'll then have a late career resurgence and take up residence in Vegas. Boom, life well lived. A winner, Google, the search engine's arts and culture app, which lets you take a selfie and see which artwork you resemble, recently became the number one most downloaded app in the US. I downloaded the app. Here are my results. Okay, here we go. Art. Swipe to view. Oh my God. Do I look this <laughs> old? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you, Google. <laughs> Did you guys do this on purpose? You planned this, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs>